Then okay, if I go. It's Frank's, it's clean. Oh, I'm leaving in 10 minutes if you want to ride. If everyone could please take their seats. I'm here for Gus's other family. You'll say that my mom wasn't flesh and blood. Neither am I or my little sister. But thanks to Gus, we're connected. That's what happens when you have new life. There's no looking back. And that's the gift that Gus gave us and gave my family. And I know that I speak for Olivia when I say that his sacrifice won't be in vain. Ma, don't you want to say something? So what, I don't come visit you often enough? So you rip your heart out to get me on a plane? The movie they shared was I Heart Huckabees. <laughs> oh, come on. Would it have been better if I said Heartbreak Ridge? Braveheart? Come on, you love Mel Gibson. It's okay, Lynn, it's okay. You don't have to smile. I'll be happy enough right now for both of us. I first met Gus Ituro when I was a cop's cop. Rules were rules. And he broke them all. <laughs> he pushed me and he challenged me, he made me better. Not just as a cop. We never had a normal moment. <laughs> uh, on the job and off. It was craziness, but a wonderful, wonderful craziness. I'm happy for Olivia. Maybe she can live her life in a way that Gus would have wanted. That would be such a great gift to him. There are things I wished I'd said, things I wish I could change. But one thing I wouldn't change, no matter how much it cost me, I am so glad that he lived long enough to receive the gift of his son, Rafe. And while Zach and Jude will never replace the father figure they lost. I was against this. Harley knows. But I was so wrong. I was just... 
really wrapped up in my own grief and um, I wasn't able to see all of you who loved him so much and seeing you all and hearing you all gives me strength I knew him as Nick and I can't remember a day that I didn't love him he was my hero he was my first kiss he was my first love and my last and it just makes you think about whether it's worse to love somebody that much and then lose him or never love him at all. And of course we all know the answer to that. Um, I just, I've said too many goodbyes and I just can't do it anymore. So I'm thinking that maybe Ava is right. And that he lives on um, in this one family that he has created from so many separate lives. So he lives on in us. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Mm -hmm.